it's Devin and I'm back with another video with some quick tips that you can use to improve your business website and brand and today I have five things that you can do for your website that will make a big difference on getting clients and making sure that people are getting the most information out of your website so tip number one do you have call to actions in the biz we call them CTAs but basically a uh, call to action is plenty of areas in your website where people can click and create an action to you so basically um, is there a way for them to contact you sign up for something Thing. Is there a way for them to get a newsletter, a freebie they can download, a shop that they can look through? Is there plenty of access to get to these items to continue following you and to find out more information about you? These are all call to actions and they're very important for a website. If you don't have any call to actions on your homepage, you might want to relook, but you should probably have a call to action on every single page that you have on your website. Tip number two is to minimize your information. I know that sounds kind of crazy because you probably want to make sure that you have enough information for everybody on your website so you don't have as many questions to answer. However, there's ways you can go around that and give information without cluttering up your website. My suggestion is to create documents that your clients can download to find out more information or put it into a secondary page. So keep your home page clean, keep your, your work with me page clean, keep any page that um, clients are trying to get information from you, try to keep those pages clean. Give high level information, pricing is okay if you, if you really want to put your pricing on your website. I'll get into pricing a little bit later. but. Um, you want to put just high level information that's really going to be drawing your clients in, drawing your ideal clients, and making sure that they are getting useful information right up front. If you have too much information right away, your potential clients aren't going to want to read through all of your text to find out more information about you. So what you want to do is give them the high level information first, have your call to actions that we discussed in step one, and then make sure that when they are reading information, they're getting enough information, but they have a link to be able to learn more. So if you want them to be able to find out more information about a package you offer, more information about some skills that you offer, you want to put that into like a secondary so it's either a learn more where it takes them to another page, a learn more that gives them a PDF to download. Maybe you reveal more um, in your website. So if they click on something, more information expands and shows them more details about what you offer. But you don't want to put all that information up front. If your clients are interested to learn more about you and they want to find out more information, they'll look for it and they'll find it. You just want to get them on your page and you want them to want to find that information. But if it's too much and it's too cluttered right away, they're going to probably turn away because they're overwhelmed. So you really don't want to overwhelm your clients. Step three is your contact page. It's good to have a contact page, but it's also good to have contact information and contact abilities on every single page. So make sure that on every single page you have, you have a way for somebody to contact you. I personally like to put a contact form on every page because you never know at what process someone's in your website that they want to immediately contact you. Um, and it makes it just a quick and easy process that as they're reading through your your page, all of a sudden they see this contact form and they're like, yeah, why not? And so they fill out your form and they send it right off to you. Step number four is your homepage. Really make sure that on your homepage, you're showing what you offer, what you do, and it's very clear. You want to make sure that on your homepage, you're not just showing your logo. You want to show your work and you want to be able to show people what you actually do. Say you're in the wedding industry and you do styled shoots a lot. Make sure that the stuff that you put on your homepage isn't the work of somebody else from a styled shoot. For example, you've done a wedding style shoot and you have a bouquet of flowers. They're gorgeous and they look gorgeous on websites. I would suggest not putting it on your homepage if you're not a florist. Don't put it on your homepage if you're an invitation designer because you want people to know what you do and what you do is invitations. So you wanna have examples of your work and probably a good three to four examples, if not more, on your homepage. You really wanna get people to immediately grasp what you do, what your style is, and what you offer visually without having to get into too much detail and without people having to fish around for what you do. So it's really important that on your homepage you're really clear about what it is that you offer. You've got links to more information, links to your about page, your blog if you have one, which I highly recommend, um, your contact page, and a gallery of some more work. And number five, I highly recommend having a really good 
good about page. This is where you can get really personal, tell people about your hobbies, what kind of TV shows you like, if you love to watch The Awesome Girl, um, whatever it is that you are really into. This is where you can be you and you can really get people who might be interested in, in you as a person as well as a business. This used to be something that people kind of shied away from. They just wanted to come off really professional and not, not really reveal themselves too much. Now people really want to feel like they connect with you and they really want to feel like you you get them, you understand who they are. So if they can connect with you because you have similar interests, things in common, or they just think that you're fun and quirky, or that you're just really cool and you have like this great personality, like this is where you should come out in that personality and really um, explain who you are, what you're into and all of that. So that's it, quick five tips. And I hope that this helps with your website and feel free to check out my blog and my website and my Instagram account and you can find out more information. Um, also, you can buy girl boss stuff at nimbyshop.com etsy.com. I'll see you guys later. What do they say? Bun up. Top. No, I don't put my hair up hardly ever. It's, it's a hot mess today. So bun up. My mom, right? I should put my bun up. Whatever. <laughs>